Hi guys, it's Mitty, and welcome back to episode 35 of Mitty Craft. Today, I added a couple of new things that I wanted to show you, and one of them being the the mini map mod. Um, you get to make waypoints and stuff for things on the map. I guess so you don't get lost because I do that a lot and <laughs> I made one for my house and then right behind it I made one for my art museum that I will get to in a second. I made an art museum and it's kind of fancy. And up here I just did my animal housing. I was just playing around with it trying to see what I could do with it. It also shows you caves and all that stuff but uh whoa. I, I, I can't open doors or walk in. But before we get started with anything, I am gonna go upstairs. I am going to make it daytime because I don't like the night and I like the morning and besides the shaders mod looks pretty in the daytime, so. All right, so it is now daytime and here is my little pixel. I have to tell her hello as usual because that's what I do every morning when I wake up. I go straight to her little cage and give her a kiss on her little forehead and and she loves it. Anyways, so down here I decided that um, I was going to make an art museum for you guys. So in previous episodes I had talked to you guys about making a museum where I can put up all of your artwork. Which is really really cool. Except, oh, I have a little fishy. I have a little foin. I have a little fish foin. Um, why am I talking like that? <laughs> uh... Can we name them? Can we name fishes? I think we can. I just don't know how. Hmm. I'll have to look at that after. But, um, I put all the stuff that I'm going to need because you guys are going to, um, watch me do the finishing touches on the museum. And why is there a chicken in here? Hello, chicken. How are you doing today? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they always give me weird looks. I don't trust chickens. But anyways, um, yeah, so in previous episodes I spoke to you guys about posting your artwork or your fan art or whatever it is that you guys wanted to send to me. And I was going to turn them into paintings and display them in MIDI craft. And um, I made you guys a email where you can send me all your artwork. Um, I will admit to you guys that I've been having some trouble with it. Um, I need to eat. Let me make some red for right now because I'm walking really slow. Um, I had some trouble putting in your artwork onto the painting. So some of them I'm going to have to figure out a different and more creative way to display them because I do not want to not just put the artwork up because I promised you guys that I would do this so I'm going to do it and by any means necessary. So uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah I was going to get more food. Um, so, uh, so some arts work will get displayed as paintings and some might not just because the quality I don't know if I'm doing it right but the quality when I put them into the um, the art folder and turn them into paintings the quality goes down and they get really pixelated I don't know maybe I'm just a noob I don't know if I'm not doing it right if anybody is really good at putting artwork into uh, Minecraft texture packs let me know because I don't think I'm doing it right. <laughs> um, but anyways, before we get started on anything, I wanted to look for a book because we're going to go to the top. If you remember my last episode, I had all kinds of stuff in here. This is all turning into my junk drawers. Hmm, this is, this is bugging me. I'm going to have to clear all this out soon. Um, if in, in my last episode, I became the mother of all kinds of dragons. I had a whole bunch of dragons and we're gonna go name them. Also, I had a, I made a zombie unicorn and a zombie ostrich. Well, not a zombie unicorn, it's undead, but I'm just calling it zombie because that's what it reminds me of. Anyways, so I asked you guys to help me name uh, those animals and there here is um, Magica, let's give her a treat. I don't know if it's just a glitch with the dragons, but sometimes they don't take the food. 
or sometimes I can't ride on her. I don't know if it's just, I don't know. Anyways, um, but let's put this back mm, and let's close this and let's get to naming and showing you guys all my animals. The dragons have grown so huge mungus. It's nuts. But anyways, so I have a whole bunch of new animals that I want to show you. I have the zombie, the unicorn, and the I have Lady Rainicorn back, and there's Lord Pegasi. I put some crystal armor on him, which, by the way, I am going to have to go soon and go mining because I don't have any more diamond. And I have two bat horses, and these are all my ostriches that... I named in my last episode and here is my zombie ostrich isn't that awesome and also I just wanted to sh let you guys know that I picked out some names that were in the comments that I really really liked so there's my books so I don't know which one to name first hmm I don't know if I should name the unicorn first or Wait, you know what I should do first before we even get started with naming? I want to show you guys the dragons upstairs. They're so big and some of them are flying around like the little baby ones. Super cool. And I personally picked out some names for them. I wanted their names to be really cool and very fantasy-like. So I kind of looked for some names and this is my Savannah. And let's see, hopefully she comes out of there. She hasn't been out of there. And then there's my dark dragon. And then that's the swamp dragon, jungle dragon. And we have two red dragons and the undead and sand dragon. Um, I know that I have two red ones. So what I want to do is pretend that the red ones are twins. It's kind of cute. And I'm going to name, I'm going to give them names that kind of match. So yeah. So anyways. Those are my dragons, and uh, what else was I going to show you guys? I think that's it. I think that's it. I just wanted to show you guys <laughs> how big they got. And I don't know if I should put Magicka in here. Magicka's kind of separate because she's um, a pretty... She's like my baby. She's like my first dragon, and she's special. She's the one that I'm going to be using the most, I think. So I'm just going to leave her in her little housing area because I'm sure I'm going to be using her all the time and I'm going to be taking her out a lot. So with that said, let's get to naming these animals. So I have decided that I'm going to start picking out comments in my videos that are helpful, stand out, or that I just think are really great ideas. So this week I picked out one for the zombie unicorn and we are going to name her Zombella and this is from Tatiana Vespi. She gave me this really good idea to name the unicorn Zombella. I really liked it. I thought it was super cute and so we're gonna keep her Zombella. And then we'll get to the ostrich. So this week's comment for the ostrich is from Rhonda Vasquez and she told me to name the ostrich Zoe for zombie ostrich but I kind of like Oz for ostrich zombie so I am just going to abbreviate it Oz. So yeah so if you guys want to give me some helpful hints or, or just want to leave me an awesome comment or great idea or whatever um leave it in the comments below and maybe next episode your comment might get picked out so i am going to put my little ostrich in oh my god ostrich you're missing an eye it's so nasty okay you go in oh well you go in there okay so what was i gonna do now i think oh i'm gonna name all the rest of these um horses that i have i think i just need the undead horse so this one i'm gonna name it flarin and that one, of course, the unicorn is Lady Rainicorn because she has to be Lady Rainicorn. And I thought I had crystal armor for her. I do have crystal armor. That's right. I I used all my diamond to make the armor for them. Ugh, now I have to go get more, which is really good because I haven't went on a mining episode in a long time. So maybe we'll make a really fun episode out of that and I've been really really wanting to go to the end as of recently but I think I'm gonna save that for my very last episode of Midicraft which might be coming very soon but I'll let you guys know about that more in a second 
I got a... Oh! I just threw an egg. <laughs> I just egged my bat horse. So, I made a bat horse because I want to change her into a black pegasus. The last time I had a black pegasus was on Ladycraft. And, well, we all know what happened with Ladycraft. So, I don't have my black pegasus anymore. And I wanted to get one for Midicraft. And I wanted to show you guys the platform that I made, the new platform that I made, it's a cloud platform and it's really cute. I had a glowstone dangling from it, but I hope this is cloud level because, uh, yes, it is. I was getting, I was worried that it wasn't cloud level because the clouds are different. I changed the texture. Um, so now let's give her a darkness potion and yay, I now have a dark pegasus and I already know the perfect name for him. He is going to be named something, let's, I'll give you guys a hint. It, it is something that has to do with adventure and time. <laughs> oh wow, I am the worst at giving hints or whatever. So let's go put this Pegasus back into her stall or his stall. I need to make more stalls for more animals because I'm already running out of space because I just collect way too many horses and all my dragons are up on top. So, okay, so I'm gonna name my Dark Pegasus. I'm pretty sure you guys already have guessed it. Hmm, ready? Mon Monochromicorn, even though it's not black and white, but it's black, so it's the closest thing to it. <laughs> there we go. So there is Monochromicorn, and isn't he fancy? I love him. Okay, so what I wanted to do now was go upstairs and start naming all my dragons. I haven't named them yet. I wanted to name them on camera with you guys. Um, I figured out some really cool names. Uh, I wanted them to be very fantasy-like. So let's go do that now. Um, there's so many of them. I think I'm only missing three names because I can't decide on what to name them. So maybe you guys can help me out with that. I'll let you guys know which ones I do not have named. And then you guys can help me after I have named the other ones. So, I'm gonna start with the red ones. The red ones are gonna be twins. So, they're gonna be twin sisters. So this one is gonna be, let me see, I have them written down somewhere. This one's gonna be Fairy. Yeah. And let's go name the other one. I think she's at the bottom. How does she fit through there? I'm I'm gonna have to make it bigger so she can go back up. Okay, and then this one is going to be Fury. There we go. And that one, the one at the bottom, the Savannah one, I do not have a name for. The Undead one, I am going to name. Whoa, it's not letting me name it. Oh, there we go. This one I'm gonna name Rotmare. And this little green one is gonna be called Willow. And the black one is gonna be called Nocturne. No, I think it was, I thought it was Noctem. Noc Noctem. Um, Noctem me means night beauty in Latin, so I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, I don't have names for the jungle one, the jungle dragon, the sand dragon, or the savanna dragon that's at the bottom. That one. So maybe you guys could help me name those three pick out some names write them in the comments and maybe yours will be picked for next week i want to go downstairs oh man there's a werewolf outside i want to go downstairs and start uh fixing my museum oh no 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 you you stay out there i hate werewolves oh, oh i have a bed in here uh, when I was building my housing area, my animal housing area, I kept on sleeping in here to make it daytime. So, here we go. Okay, so I made it daytime and I am now going to the art museum. I have not figured out a name to call this museum. <sighs> I've been trying to think of some really cute creative names, but I've just been having some trouble with it. Um, I have 
creative block. <laughs> if that's even a thing. But yeah, I can't think of anything. So maybe if you guys can help me out with that, maybe if you guys can think of a creative name to call the museum, put it in the comments below. But other than that, let's get started on getting it all together. Again, I just want to let you guys know that um, I wasn't able to put every single fan art in the paintings. It was only it was only three of them for right now. I started off, I tried to put the paintings in from my email that I gave you guys. So if any of you want to send me a fan art, you guys could send it to mail at gmail.com. You guys could put a fan art in there if you like, and I will put it in a mini craft episode. So these are for the people who um, don't know that I've, I'm going to do that. So I talked about this in my last episode, I believe it was. Um, and I did get a few, actually I did, I got a lot of uh, uh, artwork and stuff that you guys want me to put in my episode. Only I ha couldn't put it in the paintings because when I would size it down, it would get very, very pixelated. So I'm trying, I tried to think of an alternative to do for right now up until maybe I could figure out how to do it a better way. But, um... So, what I'm gonna do is, I am just going to, oh, those look, those look okay, they're kind of low, I might have to add a, a fourth post to that, but, anyways, what I was saying was, um, uh, I tried to figure out a different way to do it until, yeah, I can, uh, put the painting, put the artwork in the paintings properly. So, for right now, I got three paintings, or three uh, artworks of me from some very talented artists that I'm gonna put in the paintings. They're still kind of pixelated, but uh, they're actually better than what all the rest of them look like. And so, uh, I'm gonna put those up, and I am going to actually give everybody the information on the artwork that I'm gonna put up. It's really, really cute, and these people deserve a lot of recognition because they're very talented. So, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm, I think... I'll put a lamp up here. I think I have levers inside my chest. I don't usually like making episodes where I build. I just feel like it's super boring. I don't feel building is at all entertaining. But I know a lot of you do like uh, building and stuff. So maybe this can spark some interest in you guys or inspire you guys to make a museum type thing of your own I don't know but yeah I'm gonna put these lamps on here whoa those immense a lot of light I never realized it and these are for anybody wondering those are from the furniture mod so I'm gonna put these around certain areas where there's not that much light because I don't want anything spawning in here okay Let's put some right here too, and some right here. So I wanted to talk to you guys about possibly, I know this might sadden some of you, possibly ending midi craft soon. So the reason why I want to end midi craft is because I am going to be starting three new series, Minecraft series, and I'm kind of scared that I am not going to have time for midi craft anymore. Um, and I mean, Minecraft just takes so much time to build and play and collect stuff and it's very time consuming. I, I wish there was a counter of some sort on Minecraft to see how long you have actually played in total. Actually, I think there is. I'm going to check to see that because I think somebody said that there was a counter um, so that you could see how many hours you have put into Minecraft and so I'm a little worried that I won't have time to do other things that I want to do um, and everything that's been going on with my grandpa uh, I've just been trying to get on track again and it's kind of hard because uh, it's just when you kind of fall off of your routine things just kind of it's 
it's hard to get back into a routine and that's what I'm trying to do and uh, so I've been slacking a lot lately but today I'm gonna post this video which I am recording this video on a Monday it will probably go out Wednesday uh, so that I wanted to put it out today Monday but I just I did not have time and then Tuesday I am going to be gone all day so Wednesday it looks like Wednesday is is no Thursday I might have to do it Thursday because Wednesday I have a Sims I have a sim series that I'm gonna post which you guys should check out because by the time you guys see this video my Sims 3 Let's Play will have already been out. Uh, I had remembered that I mentioned on one of my previous episodes that I had bought The Sims 3 and you guys got super super excited and a lot of you were practically begging me to start a new, uh, well to start a Sims 3 Let's Play. So. Yeah, so check that out. I'll probably link it at the end of this video so you guys could check it if you like. But I had a lot of fun playing Sims. I didn't realize how much fun it it is. I didn't think I could ever have I have fun with a game like that. I was I always thought Sims was kind of silly. I'm like, it's just you're just pretending to live in a like I don't know. It was just really silly to me, but now that I've played it, I love it. it. I love the game and I love how much you can customize your character. It's super, super awesome. And But anyways, I had a lot of fun playing it and I'm also, if you guys would like to be involved in it, in my first episode, I asked you guys to help me pick a sim. So if you wanna help me pick a sim um, to use for uh, the series go to that video now and let me know which one you would want me to use it's a Fiona sim uh, kind of like my skin my minecraft skin and then there's one that's more realistic to what I would actually we wear in real life um, so you guys could choose between the two but anyways yeah I I'm rambling now I don't know why I'm rambling okay what am I doing what am I doing Kind of lost train of thought. I'm gonna put these little bushes up here. Oops, oopsie. No, up here. All right, it's coming together rather nicely, I must admit. Okay, all that's left now is just to post up the paintings. I don't have any more paintings, so I'm gonna have to go um, and get more. Um, let me post these up too. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and get some more paintings from inside because I put up the last ones. Okay, so I went and got all the paintings that I will be needing. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to find them because sometimes finding the painting you want can take- Oh! Spoiler alert! But that's not the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted. Alright, let's put down another one. No. There we go. This one is from a Ross Angel. And it's a little bunny version of me. Let's see if we can find the second one. Nope. And that's the second one. That is from Girl in the Clouds. And the last one. Nope, not that one. Not that one. Not that one either. Not that one either. And this one is from Elizabeth Beals, who is an amazing, talented artist. All these girls are amazing and deserve some recognition. So I am going to put their links in the description below so you guys can check them out. And never fear though, all those that did send me some fan art will get your paintings in at 